Hi guys, welcome to another weekend of my life vlog. I very rarely film these, but I really felt like it this week. Today is Friday, I spent my morning working and I got a video up. I just showered, gave myself a blowout. I'm going for like a little work coffee. Then I'm going for another coffee to meet a new friend. Then this afternoon I have a shoot. And then tonight, it is finally the weekend. And we are going to Capward, a friend's birthday. Tomorrow we're going to Billy Bob's. I mean, it's gonna be a very good weekend. Thank you. I am in quite the rush. I'm getting back right now. I just, okay, one sec. Um, I got coffee with McGuire, love her. We will be great friends. I'm heading off to a shoot right now. We're just getting like random content. My dress, it's my new dress from Skims. I have this one like sleeveless and black and it is the most flattering dress ever. Someone who like, doesn't love bodycon, I am wearing like, um, like a thong like Spanx underneath, like not that much. That's how flattering the dress is. Like I honestly didn't really even need to wear it. I just did and it is the most flattering, comfortable dress. Like part of me wants to wear it out tonight, but we'll see because it's just like cozy. I feel like I could wear this to Catbird and just like love my life, you know? But we're gonna go to some stables. Here I am with my cowboy boots. Who would have thought this is where my life was heading? Honestly, kind of me. My boots are from Idlewine. They're my favorite boots that I always wear. We're gonna have to like style this well. We have a really funny TikTok that I'm gonna make. Dom will be proud. The dress itself is so comfortable and it's just so flattering. Like I have to wear it out tonight. So I recently got, wait, where did I put it? Okay, I don't know where the small one went. Um, I don't even know like what the name is or how to pronounce this. I got them because I think like Tracy Anderson posted, someone posted online and basically it's like this lotion that gives you that like dewy wet look and it actually stays there. This one I think is more tinted though. The other one was like clear. I don't know where I put it. Maybe it's on my dresser. Oh, this one is not. Okay, the one that I used before was clear. So this looks gold, but it gives you that like wet look, like a really hot, dewy look and it just dries really really well and it stays that way um i need to buy more of these so i have them for cabo i feel like shipping on them honestly took a long time so i'm gonna order them actually today anyways it just gives you like this really perfect glow you, my hands are probably a little bit crazy but i just love it okay anyways that is my look for right now i need to like brush out my hair again I have a second look that I think is super cute. I'll show you guys downstairs. Um, I don't know if we'll get to that, but I'm just gonna bring it in case because I think it is like adorable. All right, so my first look, which this is literally my favorite dress ever, Skims. Favorite cowboy boots from Marina Lambert Fly. Then I have this outfit, guys. Look at how cute this is. I just saw this on Zara online a few weeks ago and I was like, I must have it. How cute with um, a white like long sleeve that's drying right now. I'm gonna grab it on the way out. And then my black vintage Harley Davidson boots. Um, am I really unrelatable now? Not that I care to be like relatable and word in itself is annoying, but like this is what I wear. You know what I mean? Anyways, at least for myself. You can say whatever you want, but you can't say that I'm not me, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna head off. We're just going to the stables. It's only like 20 minutes away. Um, hopefully this works because this isn't where I go horseback riding, so I don't know what issues we're gonna face. Um, but I'm feeling good. Also, I want to wear this tonight, but I feel like I need to change shoes and then I don't know what shoes to wear because it's cold. I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's a problem for later. When I'm like rushing out the door, um, which I will be for dinner tonight. We have a reservation at Catford. I've never been. I'm excited. All right, guys. Heather and I, we are like near White Rock right now shooting. I'm following her to another location. I'm following her to another location right now. Um, I don't really know where it is. I think she said it was like benches or something. So anyways, we're just doing like a fun little shoot for fun, obviously. I will have her Instagram like below if you just go on my Instagram. Um, I'm, she's tagged in the photos. She just went freelance in Dallas. She's a photographer. She does product photography. I mean, she does everything. She's really, really talented. So if you're looking for a photographer, hit her up. Need these bikers are trying to ruin my life. What's new? Do you think bikers think that cars are annoying in a way that like everyone in a car hates bikers?
I'm home, I'm in a rush. I have to leave for dinner in 20 minutes and it takes me forever to pick out outfits for whatever reason, maybe because I have a huge closet and I did that to myself. I honestly want to wear this, like I said. We're going to Catbird, I feel like it needs to be a little bit nicer, but I do have just like little like strappy short heels somewhere that I feel like I could wear. Or like brown ones, maybe I wanna do black though. Or I have this sweater, and I do have like these new black pants from Abercrombie. So honestly, I should wear this because I can wear this later, I'm sure. I feel like this is more of a catbird vibe. I got home to a PR package from Abercrombie. Guys, if you would have told my like, I don't even know, any age, I grew up wearing Abercrombie and all my cousins were Abercrombie and I wanted to be just like them. Honestly, I need to call my aunt and tell her, but if you would have told me I would be getting packages from Abercrombie, I would have died. Anyways, this set is obviously like cute. It's like so, not my everyday, but I just thought it was fun. I really needed it. So anyways, I think I'm gonna wear this, which is actually also from Zara. I'm not even normally a huge Zara girl, but look at us today. I got this in New York. I wore it on our trip. Black pants and then I think like black heels, so. All right guys, this is the outfit because the pants were a little bit too big, which I will say means Abercrombie is more true to size. I should be wearing cowboy boots with this, honestly. Here's my options. Very unimpressed with it. I feel like it would be a totally different outfit if I had like more time, but pole is annoying me. Um, my Uber is two minutes away. It has changed 15 times. I hate being in a rush. Um, I don't love my outfit at all. I'm just wearing the black pants from Abercrombie I actually really like. Um, I just think them a size smaller. They're just too big around the waist. The skin's top. This Revolve coat, black vintage Harley Davidson boots. It's like weird because we're meeting a friend for his birthday after, so I don't want to be like so dressed up. Catbird's like pretty dressy. So I hope that this is okay. And I just have my Balenciaga bag. Um, I think my Uber should be here in like a minute. All right, we are off. This is as good as it's gonna get today. So I went to Catbird, got espresso martinis with tequila, of course. Uh, truffle edamame, everything. Honestly, it was all good. Guys, we're at Catbird, and for whatever reason tonight, I knew we were going to Catbird. I made the reservations. I'm vlogging. I'm telling them my embarrassing story. I made the reservations, and we get here, and for whatever reason, I'm like, yep, we're going to Monarch. We go all the way up. I want to say I was high. No, she was there separately, and I arrived at the right restaurant. The yeah. correct one. They're in the same building, by the way. It's just like an elevator difference. So we go up to Monarch, which is like the really, really nice one, and I've been here before. I don't know. It was so embarrassing. And then they're like, that's Catbird, and now I'm... No, I'm done. So yeah, it's been a crazy afternoon. The past few hours have been wild. We need to get it together. Anyways, what um, what are you thinking for the meal? I'm feeling the ginger what honey lamb chops. I'm feeling salmon sashimi and truffle edamame. And I would also like oysters. I would like the Texas buns and I would like the truffle edamame. And so octopus tacos. That's that's so good. Uh, that's you know when you've just been like really stressed for like hours and then you sit down? Do I ever? Here I am. After dinner, we went to a pregame and then out on Henderson as always. Here's us passing the line at Skellig. Um, guys, I love Skellig, but like what is going on? We need to like start some rumors about the bar or something so people stop coming so the line is not insane anymore. Anyways, we ended up going to Henderson Tap House and then the whip after the whipper snapper. Truly my favorite place to be these days. It is so much fun, all right? I promise you. All right, I'm back from the bars. Obviously, it's really hot, but um, Probably because I was wearing this coat all night. I perfectly timed my Taco Bell. My collagen just fell. Two different things. I perfectly timed my Taco Bell to arrive when I got home at 2 a.m. Tonight we went to the Whip, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You're living in Dallas, and you shame the Whip. You're in the wrong. I, I don't have anything else to say other than you are wrong. If you live in Dallas, Texas, and you would come to the whip if I DJ'd it. I need you to spam their Instagram so that they understand the demand. <laughs> this is how I'm getting my liquid IV in right now. In all seriousness, my friends and I actually um, would love to start DJing the whip, high fives, and I think it just, 
it makes sense. I meet so many of y'all, at least at High Fives. If, I feel like a whip is like not, not even like as popular, but like for whatever reason, there's like this weird, there's a weird stigma against the whip. I'll be honest with you. I love it there, I really do. When you walk into the whip, like nothing else exists. In all seriousness, these purple tree for a great day after celebrating herbal multivitamins are game changers when drinking. I drink two of them every night when I get home from drinking. So typically, Friday, Saturday. Oh my God, I am like the biggest wimp with hangovers and the biggest wimp in general. I hate, I hate hangovers. These, I'm not kidding, I've tried every hangover, vitamin, pill, patch, whatever in the history of them even existing. I'm telling you right now, these are the best. I'm gonna chug also this water with liquid IV. Wake up in the morning, we'll see how I'm feeling. Also, I am gonna eat this Taco Bell. Let's do a little haul. A Crunchwrap Supreme. What? Oh, a five layer burrito and a Doritos Locos Taco. Good morning, everyone. I have an iced matcha latte. I just got breakfast delivered. I've been laying in bed all morning and honestly playing with the dogs. We've gone outside like 14 times. I don't know what's going on. It's about noon. Saturdays are like always lazy days for me until I'm social. Like I just need to recharge and not see anyone. We're leaving at like three today though, so I actually do need to start getting ready soon. I'm gonna give you guys a little Abercrombie haul. So I got all of these denim shorts. Denim shorts are something that just like always make me feel like not good. I don't know how to describe it. Like they're just not very flattering, but I know everyone's like dying for Abercrombie denim and these I feel honestly very confident about. So we have these, these are the Curve Love four inch mom short. I'm going on a vacation next month too and I needed like good denim shorts. These are the 90s relaxed cut off short. Love, it's actually nice out. I might even wear shorts today, I'm not sure. We have a dad short, high rise. I like that these were longer. I'm kind of over like this cut even though it's flattering, like this button or whatever, like the asymmetrical one. Um, But they're always really flattering and I felt like these would be good, honestly. They're just like long. I kind of even want to wear them today with a sweater and cowboy boots. That might be the move. I also got these jeans, which now I'm a little bit worried about the wash. Like I don't, I feel like they're either cute or they're gonna give me like more of an acid wash type of vibe. But I think the cut of them, I will love. These are the 90 straight ultra high rise. I am like so excited. Okay, and then I got these dresses. This dress, these are all honestly in the running for Fort Worth today. This dress like looks a little bit big, but I feel like when I put it on, it won't. Got this long sleeve like blue dress, and then I got this pink dress, which I think is so cute. Part of me like wants to save it for vacation, part of me wants to wear it today. It's randomly nice out, but this is so cute. Like this in cowboy boots, and then maybe even like the pink. Like that's actually fun. I love color blocking and then my brown cowboy boots. That's actually a really fun look. So maybe I will wear that, I'm not sure. Um, I need to go edit some TikTok. So I'm gonna go upstairs, eat my breakfast, enjoy my morning in peace, and then start getting ready in like an hour and a half probably. Get your breadwinning housewife. Tumblers. Shop to start the day. I went out last night pretty hungover today. guys this is my final outfit I have these denim shorts on from Abercrombie the jeans didn't fit me but these I feel like fit really well and I'm hoping that they don't like stretch out too much throughout the day you know when like your jeans fit perfectly and then they don't fit well at all and you're like hate your life um because we're gonna be out we're going to Fort Worth we're going I don't even think I said this yet guys by the way which is like why I was so excited for this weekend we're going to see Josh Turner at Billy Bob's if you guys don't know what Philly Bob's is, it is the largest honky tonk in the world. I'm not making this stuff up. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to Fort Worth. I haven't actually even gone to the stockyards just to go to the stockyards before. I've really done like nothing there besides go to Billy Bob's. Billy Bob's is one of my favorite places genuinely in the world. It actually might be my favorite place. It is so fun. Normally we'll get a party bus and go. We're only going with like four or five girls today. Um, but the party bus is like so fun as well, but we're not doing that today. Anyways, 
Um, this sweater is from Zara. Just got it for me for Christmas um, and they gave it to me a year later. So I'm wearing it now. My favorite coat that I wore yesterday, which is from Revolve. I feel like it was perfect. My favorite cowboy boots, which are Idlewind. Um, and then I'm just gonna wear my black ones young guy, which I'm like now I'm starting to get concerned that I can't wear that to Billy Bob's. I'm gonna like do some research really quick. Um, and then I'm just bringing over like jacket options for friends because they need clothes stuff. So. Off to Fort Worth we go. We tried to go to Joe T's, but the line was actually insane, so no thank you. Then we went to the stockyards. I mean, I honestly was kind of born to live in Fort Worth, guys. It's like very cowgirl very country like i love it here he was singing chris stapleton like this is my latest fixation so love that um would you believe me if this was an espresso martini i promise it is i wasn't just walking around with the flask go to second radio and order an espresso martini there it is also another reason i love Fort Worth. you can just walk around with alcohol next we went and got cowboy hats i ended up with a chocolate brown hat i know that none of us are surprised i felt I felt very at home here. I loved my time. I was so happy. I need to be in Fort Worth more often. I don't know if I could actually live here. I don't know. Maybe I could. I really, really loved it. I, I do. I know I will say it's not for everyone. I loved it. Last, I mean, not last. Next thing you know, we're at Billy Bob's, my favorite place. Here's Josh Turner performing. It was so fun. Um, what a good day. I went home and I fell asleep and I was so exhausted, but it was so much fun. Morning guys, it is Sunday morning. I'm feeling incredible. I'm having a very slow morning. I love weekend mornings when they're not rushed because I feel like my morning routine is just like, I'm up and going every day. I'm gonna order groceries today. So I ordered some breakfast from Chop Shop. I got like a sweet potato hash and like a healthy little like breakfast wrap. I made my own iced coffee. It's just always better if I make my iced coffee from home. Not like a Starbucks order, but just like iced coffee with like oat milk, you know? I'm wearing my Skims pajamas and I'm watching Friday Night Lights. I'm at the end of season three. I'm gonna watch probably for a few more hours. And then today I just need to order groceries. I need to come probably clean for like an hour or so and just prep for the week. I'm actually really excited for this week. Really, I don't know why, but I'm excited. So anyway, it's gonna be like a very relaxing Sunday. I'm opening PR packages now. It's currently 3 p.m. My groceries just arrived, so we're about to do a haul. The Inky List just sent me over product, my favorite. This hyaluronic acid is my favorite hyaluronic acid, and it is like $7.99 or $6.99. It is so inexpensive, and I like it better than the really pricey stuff. I do go through it like relatively quickly, but I mean, it's so inexpensive and I just love it, it's so important. It hydrates and pumps your skin, I'm obsessed with it. Then they also sent me over some other products and then these I think are new, I've never even seen these before, but they're the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hair Treatment, it's a scalp treatment and then there's another hair treatment. I am so excited for this, I love, like I said, the Hyaluronic Acid, I'm excited to try their hair products. Then we have the Whey, which I, it's my tried and true, I use it all the time. The Detox Shampoo, I love, I love, that, and then I love the apple cider vinegar rinse from DP Hue, if you have product build up. They've recently started coming out with body products, and I've been loving them. I've actually already been sent these. I think that I'm somehow on like two lists because I work with them on the podcast as well, which is like so cool because I love the way. I love Janakin. I know that they sold it and stuff, I'm pretty sure, but I just love whey products. Get Super, which is instant coffee with hemp extract. So essentially like kind of like CBD coffee. I have the founder on the podcast, Wendy Eckes, and she is the greatest. It's an awesome episode. It came out like a few days before Christmas. Anyways, she had anxiety and didn't want to give up her coffee. So she came up with a solution, which I love. They also have like the best cups and mugs. They just sent me this one. I'm about to make some iced coffee in it. I love it. I have a mug from them that I use all the time, but I'm just obsessed with this. So. And then I have these Orem things that I'm going to try at Mental Health Naturally. Um, and these look really, really great. So, Here is my grocery haul for the week. I'm actually gonna make the Emily Marika like salad bowls for the first time. I am months behind on this trend, but I have some sriracha mayo, Dave's bread. This is my favorite bread. Um, I don't even know if these are like actually what we need, the seaweed snacks, but that's just what they gave me. I got a lot of smart sweets, they're normally out, so I'm happy that they came. Um, Rayos, Rouse, however you say it, avocado, eggplant, banana, salmon, onion, kimchi, um, and then this is like my favorite gluten-free organic brown rice pasta that I use when I make my um, like eggplant thing always. So anyways, that is my grocery haul. I 
I've been doing a QA and a at a Scott Coke again. I'm like queen of DoorDash these days. It's a Sunday, so I just treated myself. Anyways, I'm gonna lay back in bed, continue to watch Friday Night Lights, and edit some videos. Well, I think the first thing is recognizing that it is really scary to be alone, especially when you're going through like a trauma or grief or, you know, after a breakup or something. But I think if you can, you can kind of reframe it as an opportunity to grow and to just under kind of understand things better 